the annual Open Day events by the Rural Agriculture Development Authority, RADA, are held for different parishes across the island. These events give farmers the opportunity to communicate with different stakeholders across the island, as well as highlighting the best of the products and services farmers in the parishes have to offer. Today, the parish of St. Thomas is the forefront, and Peter Thompson, Chief Executive Officer of RADA, tells us more. St. Thomas Open Day is, is a day when we showcase with our stakeholders the activities that RADA is actually doing in the field, working with farmers. As you know, it's a coordinated effort, and we try to bring in all the stakeholders together so that we can have them showcase their products and services as well as RADA's own product and services that is offered to the farmer and the community on a regular basis. This open day concept started some 20 years ago and we gradually outgrow the parish office compound where it usually kept until it reaches the park which you know more space and you can accommodate more patrons. It's a really open day concept activity that brings out what the community, what the farmers and stakeholders are doing in order to grow agriculture and to lift agriculture to a different level. We have a wide range of displays of agro-processing. We have a small farmer's market and of course we have plant sales and during the course of the day we'll be honouring some farmers who have done exceptionally well in the field of agriculture. So it's a combination of activities plus there will be some areas where the kids will be allowed to play and of course we have um, educational booths where you can come and learn about a lot of things. One of the things that we are pushing right now is cassava. St. Thomas was predominantly a sugarcane and banana parish. Many of the sugarcane lands that you see out there will be taken up by investors who will be planting cassava. There's a major company in Jamaica who is going to go involved in flour, gluten-free flour. And cassava is one of the crops that you can get this from. Red Stripe is active in the parish. In the agro park, there are a couple of acres of cassava being grown for Red Stripe for making beers. And of course, with lands available coming out of sugarcane and banana, we are looking at other crops. You might have heard the minister spoke eloquently about his 5 million fruit tree crop program. St. Thomas is one of the parishes that will be targeted for the production of, of these crops. So we will be looking at um, mangoes. As you know, the export has now been opened up for us to send mangoes to the U US. And we started the first shipment about a month ago. And St. Thomas, you know, it's, it's predominantly known for East Indian and Julie mangoes. So, these two mangoes are going to be target crops that will be grown. We're going to be looking at garden cherry, coconuts. At one point in time, St. Thomas was the largest producer of coconut in the eastern region. Unfortunately, the crop has died out because of the lethal yellowing. And we are now experimenting with some new varieties, which we hope that in short order, we will be replanting many of these parcels of land, including the land that is given up um, out of sugarcane. Climate change is alive and is active. And to support agriculture, water is very important. And many of the farmers are clamoring for water harvesting facilities. And we are working with some agencies, the National Irrigation Commission, Jamaica Social Investment Funds, and we hope that other partners will come on board. We are going to be focusing more now and water harvesting. Rada will be the focal point for the agriculture disaster risk management program that the government is now pushing. Fortunately, 
rather, and agriculture is the first to adopt this. And we are going to ensure that we are resolute in our attempt to address some of the concerns of the farmers. So water harvesting is one. And when we talk about water harvesting, I'm not talking about the black tank program because you can have the black tank and you still don't have no water. We're going to be looking at entombing areas where we can gather the water and channel it to where we can get it to our farmers in production zones. We're going to be looking at earthen ponds, liners, and of course, where you have craters in the ground that can hold water, we are going to target those and put pond liners in them and channel the water to areas where farmers can have access. We will take it right up to the point of the farm and they will have to take it off to the farm. My take home message for my farmers in the parish is that you have to be resilient. You have to follow the RADA officers training programs, be a part of RADA's activity, learn what is happening, read, um, listen to the news, and to focus on getting your production up. Of course, we have to be cognizant of the fact that what is happening in the environment where climate change is concerned, you have varying intensities of drought, intensities of rain, and they are short. And of course, this parish is hilly, and soil, soil conservation is very important, especially for those farmers who are operating on hillside, steep hillside slope in excess of 20 degrees. They have to follow the instructions of the RADA extension officers so that they can better able to manage on, on the hillside to prevent leaching and soil erosion. And of course, we are there for them. And of course, we want to help them to achieve their goals and objectives in terms of their production and productivity.